Good morning, guys, and happy Tuesday. Coffee is a brewing. Uh, Henry wants a bagel, cream cheese. Casey wants peanut butter sandwich and banana bread too. There's probably four big slices, like full, you know, slices left. So that's what's for breakfast. The boys anyway, so I'm not hungry yet. <laughs> I'm gonna have my coffee first, wake up. So they are watching Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> uh, before that, remember last night we were talking about the Wizard of Oz? Well, before Scooby Doo came on, the Wizard of Oz, they, they did a cartoon version of Wizard of Oz, but it's less creepier, so. <laughs> I know, I was like, you know how, it's like, the, the Wizard of Oz cartoon was just ending. It was like 10 minutes left before Scooby-Doo started. And it's like, oh, since when did they, when did they make a cartoon about Wizard of Oz? And it's like, well, it is less creepier, that's for sure. In the cartoon version, anyways. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I'm like, oh, I was just talking about the last night. <laughs> Alright, so peanut butter sandwich for Casey. Yeah? Yeah, we'll be there again. <laughs> and banana bread too. So I hope you're all having a good Tuesday. You're staying cool. It's supposed to be another hot one over here. Yep. <laughs> staying indoors or wherever there's air conditioning. No, I, I don't do 90, 90 degree weather, you know, oh, no, I mean, 80 degree weather is high enough to me, like, you know, that's it, count me out, but when it gets up to 90s, you know, it's like, no, I'm done, you know, <laughs> I'm going to be a hermit crab, okay, and stay inside the house, yeah, <laughs> let's just all be hermit crabs this summer, you know. You know, it's well, just, you know, when we go through these heat waves that are, like, unbearable. So that is all of the bread I have left. Yes, four big pieces. Enough for everybody to have at least one slice. But I think I'll split one up between the boys. We'll just do, we'll give them a half of one. Yeah. Coffee's almost done. And then we can go have a cup of coffee. Okay, oh, I have to grab boys milk too. Okay, how's this bagel come up? That's almost done. Okay, let's put Casey's there. I need more room. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna finish this up and I'll pour my cup of coffee and have a cup of coffee with you guys. Yeah, I, wanna, I think I'll have a banana bread too. We'll start off with that, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah, I think so. There's Mr. Squirrel at the bird feeder. Just chowing down. <laughs> Getting his breath fix. <laughs> yep. Well, if you're having a cup of coffee or tea, enjoy. I got my forky mug out this morning. And here's to an amazing Tuesday, and let's stay the coolest as possible. Yes, <laughs> stay inside, right? <laughs> you want more? More what? Banana bread? More, like more, more banana bread, okay. He's already told me to um, make it again, so you know it's good when Casey says, make it again. Yeah, all right. Okay, I guess coffee will have to wait for a couple more seconds. <laughs> I never fail. As soon as I sit down, you know, and it's like, oh, I want more. It's like, oh, okay. Can you bring me your plate? Yeah. yeah, so I think yesterday was up to 32 degrees, which is just over 90. So I haven't checked today's weather. I know I don't want to. <laughs> Oh, you know how like, we're talking about Wizard of Oz being scary? The same goes for the weather. It's scary. <laughs> All right. Oh, good boy. You know that. All right. I'll be back. 
All right, uh, Casey got his second breath fix. Yes, because he, he has a hobbit, right? <laughs> second breath fix. Uh, I'm funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll see how hot it gets today. But yesterday was 32. That's just, that's just over 90, so not my kind of weather. No. <laughs> but we will stay cool and we'll all enjoy this banana bread. Cut in half. There we go. Break it. Break it in half. Mm. Oh. Well, I think I have. Let me see. A little bit more magazines to read to go through. <laughs> yeah. That's not too bad. Um, this is all the Rachel Ray one so far. So that's like a really, really good. Well, there's even a, a gluten-free chocolate chip blondie recipe in here. My God, Godfather is um gluten-free, so that'd be perfect you know, to make for him. Yeah. Oh, plus it gives me something to do because it's like. You know, like, we're not going anywhere in the seat. It's just too hot in our parks. And even our beaches are closed. Um, I think they're closed in winter, too. They're closed everywhere still. Mm -hmm. Now, the one that we usually go to, um, it's like a great family beach. There's, like, a, um, a playground. So I'm not sure if that's open. Um, but And there's also a splash pack. Now, I did hear them talking about opening splash pads this, I think, Friday, the 10th. So, you know, that will be interesting to see how that works with the splash pad and when it's really hot, you know. I don't know how it's going to work, you know. Yeah, because if you don't have a pool, that is like the first place you would go, with splash pad, right? Um, so, yeah, because that would be like hard to stay away and keep your distance, especially if it's going to be crowded. But, you know, if you kind of cool off, yeah, I know, it, it's hard. Um, so it's a nice little beach area, and they even have a restaurant, and you can get burgers, you can get fries, you can get ice cream, and the ice cream is soft ice cream, and it's like a huge ice cream, it's like so tall, it's like, it's like ice cream for two people, pretty much, and really decent prices, you know, you can have, um, spend a nice afternoon just you know, getting lunch there, or, or just, you know, packing a picnic, they have, they have picnic tables around there too, and that's what we should, we should do, with my mom and dad, and I think last year, my sister came, um, and, yeah, and it, it was fun, and, you know, we just pick, pick a nice day where it's not like, you know, I, w I wouldn't go this week, obviously, I don't know, it's a little too hot, um, but then you have, like, they, they have a splash pad that can cool off, um, but, and then, and then they, dig, they get to play in the sand, you know, they bring their own buckets and shovels and they dig a hole in China, and, well, maybe not China, but not, <laughs> back when we were growing up, that's what we did, but I don't, I don't think you, you would want to dig a hole in China today, <laughs> no, <laughs> um, so, you know, they can, they can do that and just have a ball, you know, but, Everything is closed, and um, that beach, Colchester Beach, was open, but some drunken morons <laughs> ruined it. Um, there were a bunch of young people who were not social distancing, and they were drunk, and they were being rude and disrespectful, and and right after that and they got complaints and they had to close the beach down until they put in safety procedures so yeah excuse me i don't know you know i mean they probably would have closed it anyways because as soon as it got like really hot people would have flopped to the beach you know you know so but you know it's just people like that just it's like why what did you accomplish you know by besides making a complete donkey butt out of yourself, you know. I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, we usually like to do that. We will usually do that once a summer. We go down there, have a picnic, and grab ice cream for dessert, and go play um, on the playground, you know, or they, they go on the beach, and, you know, they dig a hole, and... Um, or build sand castles and then go play in a splash pad before we leave and it's it's a fun afternoon um, so hopefully they do open up before summer is over hopefully mm. that's gross and pig it's still there <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish this delicious banana muffin. Uh, banana muffin. <laughs> banana bread. I caught myself. <laughs> I think I need to drink more of this delicious coffee, okay? And then maybe my mouth and brain will cop crop right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh no. Okay, I'll wake up eventually. All right, so um, I'm gonna eat this delicious banana bread and drink this delicious cup of coffee, and I will check back in. So ah! <laughs> the boys are, are upstairs. I don't know why. It's probably starting to get hot up there. <laughs> yes, and what does it need? Daddy. Yes. Battery, so but we need a screwdriver first. A grinic cock, we can do that. Yes, if you walk a car in body light. Yeah, so because I I finished coffee and and my delicious banana bread and um got caught up on some YouTube videos. Are you tickly? <laughs> and and I took out the recycling and it's already like getting hot outside, right? And it's like wow and it's um let me see 11 20. so and the boys went upstairs i'm like if it's hot outside it's gonna start getting hot upstairs but um might not be too bad if you turn on on the fans we do have um an air conditioner in the window that we turn on at night right before the boys go to bed to cool cool it up down I mean, upstairs so we had the one to go upstairs to play. So it's like okay. I mean they do have some toys in our bedroom, so it's like okay, go ahead. <laughs> you know? And I'm down here watching the W network because there's Christmas movies on. <laughs> Why not? Christmas in July, right? Yep. <laughs> Even though I have seen every single one, I'm probably more than once or twice, but you know, you can't just beat a good Christmas movie on a Tuesday morning, even though I've seen it before. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do while they're upstairs playing. And we will look for a screwdriver for this and put some batteries in it for their little lantern. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing. And I went through a couple more Rachel Ray magazines, found a few more good recipes. So yeah, um, I know because I think we are staying inside and I just went out to take out the recycle that is under the kitchen sink and because the re small recycle box filled up pretty quick and it's like whew, it's already hot to feel it yeah so it begins <laughs> all right we'll check back in cooking up some eggs for some reason i've been craving like egg salad and hard-boiled eggs so just cooking up some eggs for lunch I've been craving egg salad and hard boiled eggs for some reason, so um, today is the day to make egg salads, yes. <laughs> and I cut up a cucumber for the boys so they can have cucumber and ranch. And I'm gonna cut up the two yellow peppers. Hey, did you just steal a cucumber? Cucumber thief! <laughs> oh, there goes the cucumber. So, um, yep, that's what's for lunch. And, well, the boys, they're not going to have egg salad. I'll probably make them a grilled cheese. But, yeah, that's what's for lunch. Well, guys, this is my next project, and I have my work cut out for me. It is Casey's baby scrapbook that I have to work on, and his photo album here. And a big pile of pictures. Um, there, there is a good chance I probably have a lot duplicates. 
because it's been a while since I last printed off pictures for his scrapbook and when I when I did it last uh, there there are probably some that I forgot that I already had and I just got them again so there's a pretty good chance that there's duplicates because <laughs> I have three to go through one and this one is a big fat one so two and three so this is the one I got done just uh, last month so yeah and like I haven't done it for a while so uh, you know I'm not 100 percent sure <laughs> where I left off yeah and this one is just like uh, his sonogram pictures uh, baby bracelets you know stuff like that yeah and I got stickers in here scrapbook stickers and then his photo album which I just dug out well it was on the shelf I didn't dig it out but I just pulled it up pulled it off the shelf and some of the backgrounds oh and this one I forgot about that yeah <laughs> Casey's first haircut clip clip clippers uh, oh boy you you <laughs> why why do you want to see your hair, your first haircut clippings? See, Casey's first haircut clippings. It's just hair. You guys are silly. <laughs> I have yours too somewhere. I know. I have to look for it. it Might be in your scrapbook. <laughs> oh, the strange things us parents keep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Forgot that was in there. Um, now I have some backgrounds that I've already had on me, and this scrapbook came with stickers, so that is um, super helpful. Yep, so I'm going to get started on this because, you know, it's only been six years, so. <laughs> Now's the perfect time to do it when there's not much going on, we can't go anywhere. But unfortunately, I, I was just, I was going through the photo album, and... I noticed when I opened it, look at it ripped. And this was like brand new, like not really looked at. It ripped the spine of it. So I have to get go go to um, uh, Walmart, watch him call it, <laughs> and get a new one because I, I don't want you know I want him to have one that's all put together. So yeah, Michael's has them too, but Walmart probably be cheaper. So let, let's take a trip down memory lane. There's baby Casey. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, this sleeper onesie was his cousin's um, that um, my brother-in-law's wife gave me. So he wore, I think the sleeper too was his cousin's too. So he wore um, clothes that were passed down from his cousin. Oh, this is a cute picture. Oh, well, they're both cute. Henry kissing Casey. Oh. Oh. So cute. Oh, you're still cute. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, he, sleep he slept with his arms like that, like a lot. <laughs> they see you kissing your brother? <laughs> do you remember doing that? Mm. <laughs> I do. And at first Halloween, he was a monkey. And this was Henry's first Halloween costume. Yeah. Monkey. Yeah, see? Well, come here. Uh, and at me. That's Casey. I'm pooping. Yeah, well, he probably is pooping in his sleep. <laughs> right there. That's you. First Halloween. At me. And you slept through it. And that is, me? Yeah, no, it's Casey. It is Casey's. Me? You know, it's Casey. So, like, his first Halloween, the weather was so awful. It rained. Like, he didn't go out. He he didn't go out. He ended up staying home. And I really didn't took Henry just around, like, our neighbors. Because it was, like, one of those Halloweens where it rained and it was cold and just miserable outside. But you always remember it. <laughs> oh, there you are again, see? With your baby brother. Aww. <laughs> okay, oh, there you are again. 
<laughs> I think this was Easter. This was around Easter. That's why they were dressed up. And look at yours sitting on a big, big pumpkin. That was 451 pounds. Ooh, that's a big pumpkin. Is that the great pumpkin, Shelly Brown? <laughs> and when it's we saw Santa for the first time. Chill, that's a cucumber. He didn't really care. <laughs> uh, gingerbread house. Yeah. And this is our first, I think, family picture. It's a family of four. And Christmas at my mom and dad's. Not when the, not when the, we're not moving in, you on your own. Of course, you have to pose with a Santa hat that has Montreal Canadian logo on it. Right? Yeah. And then it's your first Christmas. Um, that's all we have so far, because I gotta go through the rest. Oh, Mama has a work cut out for her. Remember? I just have to replace this, though, okay? Because this is, you know, this is not working. <laughs> we'll get a new one. Oh, walk, walking, taking a stroll down memory lane, right? All right, guys. It has been a busy, busy, busy Tuesday afternoon. Oh, so I finished sorting through the pictures. Well, not finished. I went through them and picked out the duplicates. I ended up uh, having probably like around 25 duplicates. Pretty much um, his birthday pictures and um, when we went to call Santi's for his first birthday. So yeah, that was pretty much the only duplicates I had. So not too bad, but 25 I would say. Um, so I just started going through them, you know, which ones to put in the scrapbook and which ones to go in the photo album. And then I have to sort them. <laughs> I have to like put them in order, right? Oh, that's a lot. It's the pictures. Going through the pictures. <laughs> so it is about oh, 4 30, I think. So we're going to have chicken balls tonight for dinner. Um, it's going to do them in the toaster oven. One of the boys' favorite meals and no frills. Just got them back in stock. Oh, I always say it was over, well over a year since I've had them because they were recalled. So we're happy to have them back. So yeah, it's just, you know, like it's um, when it's hot like this and you're stuck in the house. Stuff like that, projects like that is a good way to keep you busy and, you know, you um, get it done. And I also finished going through the Rachel Ray magazines, so, yeah. <laughs> yep, I just, I just have to go through the Canadian Living ones. Uh, I think I don't know how many I have left. Maybe around six, maybe around there. So, yeah. So, anyways, we're going to cook these up. And uh, I'm not sure what we're having with them. If we're going to do fries or mac and cheese. I'm going to see what everybody wants. Yeah. Probably fries. I think fries would be good. We'll do them in a big oven. Alright, so that's what's for supper tonight because it's too hot to be doing anything else. <laughs> Just, yeah. So I gotta turn on the oven, it's gonna be for something like that. Yeah. Alright, so we'll check back in. Well, dinner was good. It was nice to have chicken bowls once again for dinner. We definitely have missed them. I'm just gonna finish up going through the pictures for Katie's scrapbook. So I have to go through these two big piles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one sec. <laughs> he's Casey's playing Minecraft with um, Henry. Yes, I said that. I said it with Henry. <laughs> so these ones are for his scrapbook pile. Look at that cutie pie. <laughs> oh. Seems like yesterday they were that small. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to continue working on these ones, sorting them. I think that that's the biggest job, is just sorting the pictures and putting them in order by date. So, yeah. Yeah. So oh, when I finish going through the rest of my Rachel Ray recipes, so. Um. I found quite a bit. I found like one or two. I would say at least two in each in each um, magazine. And 
Definitely will have to go to Dollarama to get a folder because these are all from Rachel Ray. And these are the Food Network pile. So I'll be going through the Canadian Living Net because I do have six. So I was right, I have six left. Um, so I'll probably do that tomorrow because I went through quite a bit today. A little bit each day and get it done. Yeah. The pile's going down though, so that's a good sign. <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, so I think I'll go to say goodnight because I'm just going to be working on these pictures tonight and sorting and um, yeah, trying to get that done. It's been long overdue and now's the perfect time because there's not much going on and everything is closed still. I mean, there are places that are slowly opening up, um, but you know, pretty much you know, the boys still can't really go anywhere besides like... Uh, a nature walk or a walk by the river, you know, or we can get ice cream, you know, but you know, it's still limited for them. Yeah, so but eventually we will uh, get there and go to our favorite places again. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. We really do appreciate it. I hope you all had an amazing day. I hope you stayed cool if it's hot where you are. It was hot. I went to open the door to, to check we had mail. And the humidity just smacked you right in the face. I was like, yeah, I'm glad I didn't go outside. <laughs> you know, it was like, I went out a little bit this morning and it was just starting to get hot. And when I went to get the meal, it was even worse. It was like, wow, yeah, no thanks. So yeah. definitely a day to stay in the house and do stuff like scrapbooking or looking at old magazines. Yeah. All right. So um, we'll see you tomorrow right by the coffee maker, of course. And I hope you have a great night. Take care. Uh, be kind and be safe and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.